Hi everyone, how are we all doing? I hope you're well, hope you had a fantastic Christmas and Happy New Year, welcome to 2021. I know I'm a little bit late doing that, but hey. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to talk to you quickly about what has happened, why I haven't uploaded in the past two, almost three months, and what's gonna happen going forward. So to fully be able to explain that, I'm gonna take you away from the house build and we're gonna go and see Holly, my wife, and we'll explain a little bit more. So see you in a second. Hello, for those of you who don't know, this is Holly, my wife. Hi. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who have been watching for a while, you might know that I have spoke before about Holly since January 2020 has had a bit of a bad back. Bad back is to say the least, you've had a bad back? Well, I mean, initially it was a bad back and then it got yeah, a bit... a bit worse. Bad leg. So... We went to the doctors a few times because uh, it pro progressively got worse and worse. Quite a few times. <laughs> Quite a few times. And long story short, we ended up going private, paying about 200 quid for an MRI scan of Holly's back. Because um, we just thought it was like a slip disc or... Yeah, or something, something like that. Something to do with the gym, basically. Because she did the uh, injury to herself at the gym. Um, well, I thought I did. Yeah. So it turned out that... Well, was it, it? It probably was. She did do something. To, something. Blah, she did do something to her back at the gym. But we went for the MRI scan, and that was on the Sunday. Um, I forget when it was. It was sort of late October, early November. It was November the third. No, then November the third. <laughs> so we went for the scan then, and they said, "Okay, we'll we'll send the results to your doctor." And you, well, we'll they go from said there. if anything's bad, we'll send the results to the doctor. Oh right, okay. So. If it was fine, they would just send us the scan pictures. And okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, and she had an appointment the following Friday to go and speak to the doctor and go through it then. Um, the next day, it was the next day, wasn't it? Pretty much. The next day, the doctor rang up and said it was something a little bit more urgent. Um, she then referred us to a place called the Royal Marsden in London. We did a little bit of research and it turns out that it is a... I'm going to fucking cry. <laughs> it is a... Um, so am I. <laughs> it is uh, a cancer hospital. Um, so far... Um, yeah, I was just going to say, and then because of that referral, we went back and we all, we'd we been sent the, the scan images by then and we went back and had a look and it was pretty... Well, not pretty obvious, obviously we don't know how to read scans, but, but being told that we were able to look back at the scan pictures and be like, okay, Something's yeah, we right. understand what they're referring to. <clears throat> um, so we knew from that day, really, yeah. that it was cancer. We just didn't know what what it was. What it was and, and um, yeah. But then fast forward from then, the sort of 4th or 5th of November, yeah. fast forward to the 21st of December, Lots of tests. Lots of tests in between, lots of... Biopsy. Yeah, and then you had to go to hospital for a week or so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 21st of December was when we got the actual diagnosis that Holly did in fact have cancer. Yeah. Um, do you want to say what it is or Yeah, I don't not? mind. Yeah? I don't know how to say it, but <clears throat> you can say it. It, uh, <laughs> it was diagnosed as a Ewing sarcoma. Um, something that is most mostly it's quite rare. It's found mostly in, in children. Uh, it's it's quite, a bone cancer. It's a bone cancer um, in her hip, um, and she is yeah. So that was the twenty first of December. Um, pretty much from was the twenty third of December was her first round of chemotherapy. So we had to start really quickly. <clears throat> yeah. Um, no time for anything really. Yeah, I she, didn't even know what was. I didn't even know what to expect, what anything Yeah, meant. it just sort of, everything hit us. Yeah. Um, but in in a kind of a funny roundabout way, being because there was the whole two month, pretty much two months in between the um, having a scan and being diagnosed, we kind of slowly, through our own bit of research, yeah. found out w what was going on. Like, we found out that it was cancer. So rather than having, oh, my voice is going to funny because I'm really trying not to cry. <laughs> <clears throat> um um, because it wasn't such a short, sharp being told, oh, you have yeah. cancer. It slowly sunk in a little bit. So rather than having that shock of being told straight away, it was kind of, I guess, the best we could have had. Yeah, I mean, when they told us on the 21st, 
I think they were quite surprised at how well we took it yeah. because, well, we d we already knew yeah. it was. I think it was obviously only when the chemo started and that's when it really hit. Like, whoa! Yeah, this is this is shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I really, think really shit is kind of yeah. An understatement. I think we didn't expect it. Yeah, but you you can't so. Um, yeah. So yeah, she's had one round of treatment. Um, for those of you who are interested, it is VIDE um, chemotherapy, rather than going in for an hour or so to hospital on a drip. Holly unfortunately has to go in <laughs> for three to four days and have it over three to four days <clears throat> because like twelve hours a day hooked up. Because this type of um, I don't really want to say the word anymore because this type of shit that's happening um <laughs> is is quite a nasty one um they have to be extremely aggressive with the treatment but the good thing is this particular type this urine sarcoma this particular type of cancer is very susceptible to chemotherapy so that's the good thing yeah. that it's gonna but it's shit because i've already lost my hair yeah this is a very very good wig. wig it's really good really nice wig um so yeah um we are actually about an hour away from going to the hospital um, to, to, drop me off. to check Holly in because unfortunately I'm not allowed to go because of COVID. I can't go, I can't visit. So for the next three days, <clears throat> I'm probably going to edit this video and work out what's. Oh yeah, it's, it sucks really. Yeah. The whole thing sucks. Um, but we're in a routine now and we figured yeah. out kind of because after the chemo for about a week. Well, I don't know actually. The first time I was really ill for the first week, but then we realised that it was because I had sepsis. Oh so. yeah, yeah, that was the other thing. <laughs> we just thought it was the chemo. <clears throat> but so. yeah, so she came out. Um, I think it was like four or five days later. Yeah. We had to take it away, and then she was in hospital for another week. <clears throat> it fucking sucks. Um, but we, so we feel like we've we. For about a week after I've had the chemo is when all the side effects like really kick in and mm. I feel like shit and I can't really do anything and really has to do everything. Yeah. But after that, like when I came out of hospital, um, after I was in for sepsis, I was fine. Yeah. And I've been able to do a lot more <clears> myself. And obviously, I don't know if anyone's watched the channel much, but it wasn't just my back, it's my leg. Mm. Um so the tumour is basically pushing on my sciatic nerve, which is brilliant because it means that um, this leg, my left leg is actually numb. So that adds to the fact that, that when I feel like shit and I can't really do anything, um, I really can't do anything because I can't walk as well. Yeah. Um, when I feel better, like when the chemo like settles down and I'm feeling a lot better, I can do a lot more myself, but I yeah. still... Um, I, I am needed to do quite yeah. a lot of stuff sort of roundabouts way this is why i haven't been yeah. uploading anything to um my youtubes either of them or my instagram or anything because i've been looking after my lovely wife but we've we figured it out and <clears throat> yeah so you're gonna start this is why i'm making this video thing. now um plus i've had so many people fuck, i've had so many people asking um what's happened where i've been hoping that we're okay yeah someone we're okay. thought that i left right here. yeah <laughs> that post i put up a couple of months ago about Saying I'm not going to upload a video, someone said... Um, She's left it. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't left me. She's still here. I'm here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to... We're going to get ready and I'm going to take Holly to the uh, hospital. But before we go too far, before I forget... This is where I cried. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> oh, do you want me to say it? No, it's okay. <laughs> Fuck. I wasn't going to cry. I um, just want to say thank you to Steve and Alex. There we go. Good friends of the channel. Um, they sent over a. Um, I'll actually, when I go and talk about the house in a minute, they sent me over a t shirt. Um, fuck, I'm going to cry. <laughs> don't cry. I'm really trying not to. It's really funny. I don't know what's I can't. funny about <laughs> <home. laughs> uh, fuck. What's funny? I don't know. Maybe I should think I'm about like. On you. That's fine. Um, Okay, I'm okay now. Just want to say thank you to Steve and Alex, proclaiming Steve and Alex. If you don't follow their channel, please do because they're, they're they've been really, really they've lovely. been really, really helpful, really, really nice. Um, yeah, they sent over a little care package, which was lovely. Before they actually knew what was going on, um, 
I just want to say thank you to Rob Songer. Um, he is he sent over a lovely message and I've been speaking with him. <clears throat> Both very good friends of the channel. And um, yeah, if you don't follow either of them, there will be links in the description below. I'm surprised I'm actually saying this. Um, yeah, my voice is wavering because oh, okay. I'm fucking trying not to cry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you to both of them. Just massive thank you. <clears throat> and a big thank you to everyone else who has sent over such lovely messages and been so kind. And people have been really lovely on Instagram. Yeah, people have been so nice on Instagram. Um, do you want me to plug your Instagram? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you would like to send your love to Holly, then I will leave a link to her Instagram down below. Um, yeah. I don't really do much on that. But... I know, but she does sometimes get overwhelmed with messages. So if she doesn't get back to you straight away or not at all, then there have been no. No, we'll there, get back to you. People. Will get back to people. Um, obviously, a lot of people are sending their love. So if you would like to send your love, then that sounds so like oh, so many people. Are just I know, I messages. know. <laughs> But come on, everyone, <laughs> everyone in the world. Anyway, so yeah, I'll leave her Instagram down below if you want to say hey okay. or good luck or something like that. Um, and yeah, okay, so we're gonna go off to the hospital, and I'll come back and talk to you about what's happening with the house, etc., etc., the channel um, when I come back. So. Yeah, I don't think I cried too much, so I think it was pretty good. I actually had tears. So oh, you did? You okay. Didn't, All right, so. no. <laughs> right, okay. You did better than me. So we'll whip, whip you over to the hospital and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just got back from dropping Holly off at the hospital. She got off well, she's doing well so far, I have spoke to her since, and yeah, yeah, all's looking good at the moment. She's just started her next round of chemo, so fingers crossed everything goes well with that. Okay, now on to everything else. Oh, first off, this is that Brick Lane with Stephen Alex t-shirt that I was on about, so yeah, if you haven't already followed them, then please do go down below, check them out, and give them a follow, and say I'll send you over. Okay, so in regards to the house, well, currently I haven't done much work whatsoever. I've done a little bit. Um, I've got a couple of videos coming on this channel. I filmed them a few months ago. I just haven't had a chance, or say I haven't had a chance, haven't been in the right frame of mind to edit them and upload them. So they will be coming. But in regards to the house, um, I am waiting on some more funds to get the house finished, because we are sort of in the... The, the fund for building the house is sort of getting to the end. So basically I need the next hit, which uh, should be enough to finish the whole house off. In the meantime, we've got tons of videos that I want to do. There's tons of work that needs doing in the garden um, regarding to things like the garden and knocking walls down and, and getting stuff ready. But this brings me on to my other point about the house. Because of obviously the situation with Holly and everything at the moment, there's a good chance I'm probably going to be subbing out most of the rest of the work at least with the house anyway. So for example, well, uh, I've already got electricians and plumbers, but I'm gonna be needing plasterers, I'm gonna be needing landscapers, I've got someone to do the stairs. Um, they'll be like, uh, probably gonna be second fix uh, carpentry work as well. I do have a carpenter, but I don't know how busy they will be. Um, yeah, there's loads of things like someone to uh, fit a flue line. Uh, I don't know if I'm having an open fire or uh, a burner in the fireplace, but the, yeah, there's, so there's tons of, um, trades I'm going to be needing so I'm asking all of you out there if you are interested and maybe want to quote for some work on this house landscaping inside or outside or anything like that I'm going to leave my email down in the description so you can pop me over an email if you are interested in quoting for some of the work now what I'm going to do um, I'm not going to give away my address over the internet I'm just not really going to do that until I if someone does come forward and say they want to do the plastering for example I'm not going to give you my address until we sort of on speaking terms. So um, if you are interested in knowing roughly where the job will be, if you work in that area, it's gonna be junction 13 of the M25. I'm not a million miles away from there. So if that is somewhere in your area of work, then feel free to drop me an email and we can go from there. Due to the whole situation with Holly at the moment, she has been forced to quit her job, basically. She was a, um, essentially, uh, she was a contractor for a bank. So basically a subby. Um, and all you subbies out there know as well as I do that if you don't work, you don't get paid. You don't get things like sick pay and stuff like that. So unfortunately, she had to leave her job. Now that puts us in a position where I am going to be the sole breadwinner and YouTube hasn't been paying me much at all. I've only been doing this for a hobby. It's not been a career, um, but that is going to change because of the whole situation. Like I said with Holly, uh, I'm going to be jumping head first and I'm going to be taking YouTube on full time. Um, obviously, the work on this house is going to be part and parcel of YouTube, so it kind of works in tandem. Um, but 
the reason I'm saying this is, like I said, I'm going to be doing YouTube full time from now on. I'm going to slowly be working up to um, to, to find out what uploads work best. But what, the reason I'm saying this is because obviously I have this channel. I have another channel, which is my vlog channel, which I'm going to be sort of changing a bit. It's still going to be doing vlogs, but I'm also going to be doing things like photo uh, video tutorials, um, travel travel vlogs when we get around once holly's better and once we get around to being able to travel um we will we'll be doing that as well so there's going to be a lot of that on there um the reason i'm doing that is because i've had quite a few uh, emails and comments from people uh, asking what camera i use uh, any tricks any tips on setting up uh youtubes uh, youtubes youtube channels so that's also something else i'm going to be doing on this other channel um explaining how to do how to set up uh, a youtube channel uh, various tricks and tips on how to best try and have the YouTube algorithm work in your favor because uh, essentially at the moment all the YouTube algorithm favors is click through rate and watch time so um, we are going to be I'm going to be talking a little bit about that as well on my other channel um, so again I, also, I, I obviously have my Rodian Builds Instagram and I also have another Instagram which will be going in tandem with the other YouTube channel so I'm going to be now asking you all for a massive massive favor <clears throat> my other channel currently has about a thousand subs on it and my uh, Instagrams are about 500 and uh, three and a half thousand. So what I'm going to ask you all is there'll be t links in the top of the description, top line of the description, links to all these channels and Instagrams. If we could all, if we could all bunch together and push them all up to 10,000, that'd be such a massive help for me. Um, to get, because my other channel isn't monetized at the moment. I'm, I'm not making any money on it whatsoever. And if I want to do this as a career, obviously to sort of help support Holly, then I'm going to need to up these statistics. So if we could all just jump on those links down below, go and follow my other channel and um, go and follow the Redian Builds Instagram and also my other Instagram. On that Instagram, I'm going to be posting loads of, uh, it's going to be in tandem with the other channel. So a lot of photo, a lot of video tutorials and things like that, a lot of behind the scenes. But I'm also in this time I've been off, I've also been getting into EDC, like everyday carry, like pocket knives and wallets and watches. I'm building up a bit of a watch collection, so I know some people um, commented on a video back where I showed my watch and they were quite interested. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of uh, Instagram posts on that as well. So if you are um, interested in that, then do go ahead and follow that. It, it really would help massively in me being able to do this full time because um, brands would be a lot more interested. If you've got over 10,000 subs, that's kind of like the magic number. If you've got over 10,000 subs, then brands and, and um, various different companies like uh, take notice of you more. Um, I think the YouTuber other again. The YouTube algorithm does take notice of you more as well if you got over that 10,000 mark. So, oh, yeah, and also I'll, I'll be able to uh, promote merch on that on that um, channel as well. So I'm trying, really trying to uh, try and push this whole doing it as uh, a career, like I said, if Holly can't work. And because I can't actually go out and get another job because of COVID, because Holly's immune system is really low, like really low. So I, we're in like, we're really shielding. So... This is pretty much the only choice I've got, really. So I'd be so thankful and so appreciative if, if we could try and get up to 10,000 on all those channels. And also Holly's Instagram as well, because she's doing some stories and things about her whole uh, chemo journey as well. So yeah, it'd be really nice if you could just follow her as well. And, and uh, yeah, we could try and make a go of this uh, YouTube thing. Also, if you could share this video across your socials, it'll be a big help to get some eyes on my channel so I can start doing this as a career. And also, why don't we share your favourite video of yours from my, uh, from my channel, whether it be The Brick Chair. There's a good Instagram post coming about that Brick Chair soon, so don't forget to uh, go and follow me on Instagram. Whether it be The Brick Chair or a tutorial or a Twisted Peer or something like that, if you could share your favourite video across your socials as well, that would be a massive help. And yeah, every future video that I do, if you share it or comment on it or anything like that, even likes and things like that, it all helps so if you could like yeah just share the videos that'd be a massive help as well also i've had a couple of people on instagram the people i've already told about the whole situation a few followers uh, they have asked if they could send holly a card or or something like that so what i've done is i'm not i'm not going to give out my address online because that's not what i want to do uh, i've set up a po box so if there is anyone out there who would like to send holly a card or a little parcel or or anything obviously this is completely up to you, you don't have to uh, there is actually a po box address there is a PO box address down below and use that and I'll go and pick it up from the, uh, the post office when it turns up. So, yeah, if, if you are, you don't have to, but like I say, if, if that's something you want to do, then there is that down below. So, yeah. So I'd like say a big thank you to Bricklayers Talk Group over on Facebook because they have been uploading and sharing a load of my videos whilst, this, whilst I've been away. So it's helped keep my channel afloat. 
big appreciation to them, so I'll leave a link to them down below. Also, I'd like to thank, obviously, Brickland with Steve and Alex for sending over the T-shirt and the little care package. I really did appreciate that. Rob Songer, again, another big good, uh, another big good, another good friend of the channel. So thank you very much for the messages and the support you've been sending over. Really do appreciate that. And I'd also like to thank Trajectory over on Instagram for, again, sharing some of my Instagram posts since this whole... I've been away for a few months thing has been going on so that's helped my instagram as well so i do really appreciate them again all the links to all these channels are down below so if you could just go down there follow them all that'd be great appreciation for me and obviously for all of our friends of the channel okay with that being said links here to channels and videos so go click them remember click on my vlog channel go and follow that it could be a massive help if we can get that up to 10,000 as well as instagrams so yeah thank you very much for watching take care and i will see you all soon